Okay, guys, so I'm pretty sure everyone knows the situation with Molly and Carmen and Corey. Molly is claiming that Corey is the father of her two-year-old child. Asked for a DNA test, which Corey stated no at first. Then he turned around and stated that he actually would do it. By then, Molly was already like, you know what? I no longer want to do the DNA test. So then all this back and forth happened and Corey ended up getting Molly's Instagram page deleted. She was able to get her page back and then Corey got her page deleted again about a day or two ago. Now, after he got her page deleted for the second time, Molly went completely off. At this point, they harassing me, bro. You paid my other baby daddy to do what he did. And then he's talking about something, you pay him $50 to fight funny mike you're just trying to be friends with them you're just trying to be friends fucking because you know that ass. leave me i haven't been bothering nobody why the leave me alone that shit is harassing bro so this is where it's getting kind of confusing to me molly stated that corey paid her baby daddy $50 to fight Funny Mike. This was said after everyone already knew that this was a prank because Corey and Funny Mike both came out and told everyone that it was a prank. So why would Corey offer to pay someone $50 to fight Funny Mike? That's what's not making any sense to me. If you guys got something else from that clip, let me know. But from what I'm hearing, she stated that Corey offered her baby daddy $50 to drive all the way to Houston to fight Funny Mike. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. But now let's get on to this next subject with Dub, DDG's brother. So if you guys didn't know, Dub was in the hospital for about a week sick with COVID and pneumonia. Now he recently went live with DDG to explain his traumatic experience. Up, George? Uh, nah, but... Y'all don't know, y'all. Went to Miami. Wasn't really feeling myself in Miami. I wasn't talking. Wasn't interacting. Was on the crowd. Like, just felt just bad. So I got home. Got home. Uh, <coughs> got home. <coughs> felt kind of like sluggish. Diarrhea. Couldn't Damn. sleep. You I couldn't sleep. sleep at all. Chills, body aches. You the guy took my... Huh? Yeah, I was shit everywhere in the head. I had it, bro. What I had, I was shitting on myself. Boy, that shit's terrible. Now, I had my fucking... Uh, I actually... Fucking, um, nigga, I had the same clothes on for about... 11 days. Threw them bitches away. But anyways. What'd you spell like? <laughs> what you spell Man, come like? on, man. These niggas. <laughs> that nigga was facing the pain. <laughs> Listen, so I was fucked, bro. I'm talking about nigga couldn't breathe for like, no, the third day. It was the third day I got sick, which was July. Thir was the July 31st was worse. I had a headache, chill, couldn't breathe in the bed. Um, then a couple days ago, then a couple days after that, I started getting sicker. Then I got pneumonia, but I think I got pneumonia from the hospital. That's the worst shit ever. I went in there, I came and hollered at them, and they set me outside for three hours, freezing cold, wouldn't let me come in there at all. They came out and they was like, you got pneumonia. I was like, what? Nigga, I'm fucking crying outside. Called my brother, called everybody. I'm like, man, they said I got pneumonia. I, mean, they, I went home. They, when I went home after that, they gave me some pills. It was the worst time ever. Then one day, I'm just sitting on the bed. Brittany coming here. Acting like it was wrong. I couldn't breathe. I had passed out. Hit my eye and shit. I was going through it, nigga. Spent six days in the hospital. That was the worst shit in the world. But now I'm going to take this rapid. I mean, this. I, I got I'm gonna take this. Get it. I gotta get a negative COVID test. And once I get this negative COVID test, shit, I'm out. But shit, I still gotta. This is for my pneumonia and shit. I gotta wear a fucking tube, nigga. Damn. Well, I don't. I don't really have to wear it. It's if I can't. If I feel like I can't breathe, but nigga, I'm young as hell. 
So I'm vaccinated, boy. I can jump higher and everything. Look, I heard you ain't got to wear condoms when you vaccinated. You don't. That's what I'm trying. You get vaccinated, nigga. I'm gonna get walk. vaccinated. Shit, I'm gonna get the shot. That shit don't what? hurt. Right here, it's I'm make gonna get arm. the shot. Hold on, what? What? Did you say? Did you say you're not getting vaccinated? No, I said I'm getting that bitch for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I was thinking about getting it. Nigga, literally, it's free. It's yeah, literally. Free. All you gotta do is go to the right aid. Nigga, get it. You can go to CBF? Yeah, it's free. Yeah, I was thinking about getting that shit. They ain't make you sick, did, did it? No, no, you got. You have like a few seizures and shit. You need somebody to watch you while you go to sleep. But then after that, you good. Nigga, I think I got shorter and everything, bro. <laughs> just been short, nigga. Yo, ass been short, nigga. Nah, bro. <laughs> My nigga was standing in the mirror, butt ass naked and shit, looking at himself. Dog, yeah, nigga. No <laughs> homo, bro? I can run to the box office real quick. Hmm. What time you got to go? I gotta go 12 30. Nigga, no homo. I've been on hard. And table. Two and a half weeks, bro. Yeah, I don't even know what my meat look like. I swear to God, that's the only thing that's been my like two <laughs> days ago. I couldn't have out. a conversation. Oh, shit. hey, I don't have a meat. I swear to God. Damn. Now I'm talking about I. This I had is it. stupid. Like when I pee, I gotta grab that bitch from my ball. Dude. Damn, what you trying to say? <laughs> I don't know if I can. So you say your shit didn't vanish with you? <laughs> Real meat, though, man. That nigga shit, he tried to do a bad <laughs> trick. That nigga walk in, shit was gone. That nigga, that nigga spooked, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I'm, I'm trying. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like, hopefully I get this this negative test because I know Mama and Brittany and all, all y'all yeah, niggas worried. I mean, I know, I know I don't have COVID no more. This is today is amazing. I never, I don't, I didn't even, I didn't even think I could feel like how I'm feeling right now no more. Yo, it look perfectly normal now. Nah. Shit, if I take off this shirt, boy, I'm trying to buy. Show him your stuff. Fuck it. Nigga, ain't never seen my stomach before. I'm gonna show you. Oh, let me show you. Oh. Nigga, look at this, Vaughn. Hold on. <laughs> Where did you go? Nigga, I have no stomach no more. Bro. Damn! Oh, shit! Damn! <laughs> yeah, your shit gone, nigga. <laughs> That's the best part about it, then, shit. <laughs> I told that nigga start doing sit ups and lifting weights, boy. That nigga gonna be cocky as hell, boy. Yo ass ain't even gonna like food no more. Yo ass gonna be used to not eating. Yo ass gonna get skinny as hell like me, just slim. 